Alright, I submitted hundreds of bug reports. I was told that the idiot. that. did overlapping scripts. 1 AI was bound to respond to the environment at the same point. Turn out missed the point. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the oh. hell did this Thomas think he was? So, oh yeah, so there's more than one AI I can control. I guess that one was Chris. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Chris, you should be thankful for Thomas. He's gonna get you over this frickin' jump here. He can't even make it, fat ass. Nice going, Thomas. Glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Oh, Grace, Grace! Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate! Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing <laughs> thing entirely worthwhile. <laughs> This is such a cute game. No, Thomas, move. Thank you. <laughs> I like the music. Was this good? Because, on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well. The ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> now, can Chris make it to all these? Looks like it. Hi, right, Chris, we good. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Come on! Come on, Chris, let's go! But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Chris, why are you so mean? Next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Chris, why you gotta be such a jerk? Seriously. I'm helping you out, man. What's 
up here. Hmm. I see now I'm saying, hmm. Whoa. I feel like I'm going, I'm going to have to need to help Chris out somewhere over here. That's my guess. Maybe. Out of the way, Thomas, you're such a jerk. Being all happy stuff. Oh, okay, swing up, come on, in, anyone, let's go through the portals! Yo, you're such an idiot. Here we go! What? Who's this guy? John knew. Oh, it's John. He knew that this was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. There we go. This would not do. John Ooh. needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Oh, I probably need Thomas to... Oh, no, we're good. Open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use. Time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> okay. Sympathetic expression, right. Okay, Thomas goes first. Sploosh. I guess John has to go down now. Chris, you're next. I want to go. I hate everybody. I'm such a curmudgeon. Oh, interesting. John has to help Thomas out. Oh. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Yaw. Wait a minute. Come on, Chris. Ugh. Chris, you're ruining everything. Hmm. 
Welcome, John. No, you're Chris. Chris is the curmudgeon. John's the happy one to help out. How about the little guys? Eh. Eh. Shouldn't have eaten so many chocolate covered pretzels over Christmas. True story. Seriously, John? No. Damn it, I keep calling him John. Seriously, Chris, you're so useless. Come on! I'm not even sure if that can make it. We'll find out. Nope, of course not. Come on, John. You can help us out. How about the little guys? I need to move this whole ensemble back. No! He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. No. Oh. Ow! Damn it, Thomas! That's hilarious. Now oh, come on. Let's see why Chris is so angry. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. So sure, are we? That's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Oh, how nice of him. Ooh. There we go. 